Got it? Okay, cool. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm everyone, Alex. Araham with me here. This is uh, our special moment because we're going to unpack the Medusa 1-4 scale diorama for you guys. This is the box it comes in. Uh, it's a huge box as you can see. And uh, this is a real pleasure because of course we got the, the owner of Air Age Studios. Uh, this was a big hit at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, we were lucky to have our own. It's sold out. Yeah. By the way, yeah, it's sold, it's sold out. out. So uh, we're going to share with you the unpacking, show you guys a little bit more detailed stuff. Actually, this is the very last one Medusa we have. And we separated it for him because otherwise we wouldn't have yeah. one. <laughs> I waited so you guys could have yours first. So this is, uh, you know, it's going to be a very special uh, statue in the collection. So we want to show you guys how to open the box and how to get the statue with, in, with, from it within in a safe way. So let's try to not make a lot of mess here. First, start cutting the, the tape. It's actually a double packed, so it has the outside carton and then two boxes inside. So we get a pretty much unpack it twice. Right. Okay. As you guys can see, it's a really big box, so we're gonna need a lot of care here. And it's heavy too. So be careful with your back when you're doing this. Okay, I don't want you guys getting hurt. So the smaller box comes with the base. As you guys can see, we don't have a colored, you know, box. It's we thought it would be unnecessary to have a colored collectible box for this statue, so it's just a, a box for transportation purposes only. Okay, the, now here's the thing with the styrofoam. The styrofoam isn't very um, dense, so if you guys try to pull it like this, holding the styrofoam, it's definitely going to break it. So what we have to do is, we're going to hold it and turn it upside down, and then let the styrofoam slide off. Very easy. Okay, so once we get the styrofoam off, then it becomes easier. So the thing is not try to grab the styrofoam because if you try to grab and pull, it's definitely gonna break. tape shows you that the statue is not opened by customs or anything like that so if you don't have the original tape it might have been open so you never know it's better not to okay. so you see that if you do it like I'm doing you're not going to break your styrofoam so you can repack the statue if you need okay so Everything looks cool. This is the base, comes with the pillar and the vi victim guy here already in place so you don't have to attach anything, it's already just one solid piece. So you can grab from here and remove out of the box, you know, but be careful again, it's heavy. Well, you gotta, <laughs> it makes a little bit of mess with the styrofoam pieces but it all looks good so far. Okay, so take this one off here. Okay guys, the, this is the heavier piece and it's the one that we gotta be the most careful with. We don't wanna break while we are you know unpacking it so Let's do it gently and be sure that we're not going to damage the statue while we are opening it. So, I 
you getting me? Yep. Okay. That's good. So, first we cut the tape. The shine and the finish. Yeah. Okay, show here. I want to so. unpack this, and I want to show how to unpack the okay. the body. The body is the most critical part of the whole thing. So you can see that it comes very well protected. Trying to avoid any movement inside the styrofoam with the extra protection here, but it's still it's a very fragile part. So the way you're going to take it off the box also makes a difference. So let's be very very calm here and hope that nothing is broken, you know, during transportation. So we just first get rid of this, 
it's just extra padding and then the hair is the most critical part here because of the all the, the snake heads so we got to be really careful not to pull it and break so let's grab her by her boobs here it's a nice, nice place to grab her and pull it off the, the box right her boobs like that hmm. I'm glad she has big boobs okay <laughs> so here's the piece it looks fine you know the things are not broken and I don't see any heads that are you know broken either so let's finish unpacking it beautiful it's a beautiful paint job I think the factory did a very good job in reproducing the master and uh, I'm very pleased with overall quality of this statue okay so be careful when you're unwrapping this so you won't pull and break the head so you gotta be very gentle here okay wow perfect Alex <laughs> you got you got a perfect one Wow, wow, it's beautiful. It's it's gorgeous. It's nice. Gorgeous. It's oh, gorgeous. she is. You got a very good <laughs> <laughs> I got it's lucky, beautiful. guys. Yeah. But you know what? No this, breakage, this is, nothing. This is... And it came all the way from China like this. Yeah. And you, you guys can see that although we transport this from China, the package arrived in very good condition and the statue is perfect inside. Yeah. So we're just going to place it right there. And it has magnets. So once you place it here, it's going to hold because of the big magnet we have right there. Okay, so... Okay, you know, it gets a nice tight fit. It's there. Oops. Oh, oh she's not straight. Yeah. Now it's... <laughs> yeah, she's leaning. Okay. <laughs> like, now it's good. You know? Wow, now look at that. Good. Yeah. Okay, guys. Wow. It's perfect, you know? You got lucky, man. Yeah, well, no it's, not, it's, not, it's not actually, uh, you know, it's not the that I got lucky. It's just that the packaging, you can see. Yes, that's what I mean. You uh, know, no breakage. You know, there are so many small pieces that could have broken. And, you know, there's nothing we can actually do if we, it's just rough handling, you know. But it, it came perfect. And, uh, you know, just, just so you guys know, uh, we got this straight from, from China. So uh, we didn't unpack it. I wanted to show you because I wanted to take that uh, initiative and show you guys how to unpack the, the box properly because uh, some of these things that we're hearing is because people are unpack uh, you know they're packing and unpacking uh, these statues and they break so uh, please take care I mean that's an expensive statue we've limited the production so uh, I want I want you guys to, 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 to know how to pack these things right and as you can see I mean the boxes I'll show you um, are, are, are well done. We did the best we could uh, and for what we have. And, and you see this, um, there are a little bit of bits of styrofoam that comes off. I think this is natural, we not, we, you know, because once you squeeze this huge piece of, you know, statue inside the tight styrofoam, of course the edges will get a little bit worn out. But I think that the package it does its job, it protects the statue and you guys can see it, the statue came out perfectly. So let's finish, let's finish assembling it. So here's the, the bowl with the hand. It also has a magnet here, so it's gonna hold tight in the, in the, on the wrist over there. And the, the bow string is really tight, and I really like this, because the fact did a good job in getting the bow string really tight. So once you place it, um, I've seen a lot of people putting the string on the outside and that's not the correct way of doing it because you know whoever has shot a bow <laughs> knows that the string goes inside your arm so you know you place the string right here and then you can just push it in and it's gonna fit perfectly because of the magnets you don't need to do anything it just stays there and it's gonna hold Yeah, the second part we're going to um, attach to her is the actual quiver, the actual quiver. And it also comes separate. It's a very delicate piece too, so you gotta unwrap very carefully. 
you know, because it has some fragile parts here. So, but once you get it unwrapped, unbelievable in person how big this snake tail is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a true diorama of one fourth. So the quiver comes with the the the, the arrows already attached to it. So. It has a small hole here in the back. You just, you know. Aaron, would you turn that around so we can see? Yes. So it just fits in. Really nice. Okay. And it definitely holds. Okay. So this is how you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're missing the tail tip, that is the, the actual rattle. So it also has a magnet, so it's gonna, you know, attach really nice and really easy and it's already fixed. You know, the magnet holds it in place, you don't need to worry. Okay, and the last part, for some, it's optional. <sighs> the breastplates. So, this is actually an innovation because so far, no other statue company has ever produced a statue where you can remove the breastplates and see her, her breast. So, we kind of innovated in this. And we create a system that you can actually have this on and off, and it holds by magnets. So it's pretty cool. Okay, the trick is we have a small magnet inside her boobs, and the inside of the breastplate is painted by magnetic paint. So once you just put it here. It just stays in place, just like that. And it fits right in. So, I think we're done. Well, <laughs> that was really nice, uh, Thank you so much. Um, it's been a pleasure, uh, you guys, sharing this with you because uh, this is really uh, something special that. Uh, you know, I, I had a pleasure of uh, working with Arham and seeing this develop. Uh, when I first saw it, uh, it without paint and uh, it just didn't give me the impression and the base of course wasn't there either. So, but uh, this uh, is just amazing. And now that I see it in here in my collection and also with Arham opening it, it's just a great moment and I'm so glad I can share it with you. Uh, as you can see, it's huge. Uh, it's a fantastic piece, and uh, when he said it's big, uh, and I thought, well, you know, I've had I have big statues, but it's really big and it's really beautiful. Um, well, this is a one-fourth scale statue, and for the the scale and the size of the box and the size of the diorama, it's a it's a huge piece, definitely, in terms of you know overall size. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful. I'm really proud of this. The sculpture did a great job. I have to congratulate Alex Pereira. We worked like for over three months developing the design and you know tweaking all the details that you know that I wanted to to have. I, you know, I wanted to have a, a nice flow for the hair, you know, although she has snakes on her head instead of hair. I wanted to give the impression of a very sensual movement, so we did a, a, a flow with the snakes, like if it was natural hair flowing. Um, also the idea of the removable breastplate, so you can actually display her nude, you know, more like in a Greek mythology type of thing, or if you just, you know, like having it this way, it's cool too. So yeah, it took a long time. It took um, over a year to get the whole thing ready for displaying at the Comic Con 
and we put a lot of work and a lot of, a lot of love in this piece and we are very very proud of the, the results. I believe I believe the um, the end the, the end result came out you know amazing. And guys, you know, let me be honest with you. For me it doesn't make any more difference because I already sold every single one we produced. But I know there are some retailers, probably Sideshow still has it, and but they have just a little, you know, a little feel left. You know, from the amount of statues we sold, we sold over 300 of those, and including, you know, some more for the Sideshow EX that we make specially. So they are all sold out. We don't have it anymore in stock, and I believe some retailers are already trying to reorder and I'm, you know, I don't have it anymore. So if you have a chance, if you like it, don't, don't wait. It's not going to go down in price. I think on the contrary, you know, it's only going to get more expensive. And once it's sold out everywhere, prices will soar. So here's my advice for you guys. And it doesn't make any difference if you get it or not. I already sold everything I had to sell. So that's it. I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed and as soon as we have another opportunity, we're going to do another video, maybe unpacking the new one that we're coming up with. And <laughs> <laughs> That sounds good, Arham. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing this wonderful statue. And uh, thank you guys for coming back and checking out the collection. And uh, this, this was a very special pleasure to, to share with you the unpacking of the Medusa one-fourth scale. From our Studios and Sideshow Collectibles, uh, you guys take care. And we'll see you next time.